Hi everyone, I am Miss Lizzie and my website is MissLizzie.me. Uh, it's about uh, hypothyroidism and adrenal fatigue and how I found my way to good health. Um, and today I'm here to talk with you about the winter blues, which apparently for a lot of folks is pretty common when uh, when we have a thyroid condition and it is also common even when we're on medication and we're um, getting good treatment um, because in the winter time we can have a drop in our TSH production and this can lead to a, a winter time bluesy kind of feeling and uh, you know I remember this feeling as early back as oh I guess about 13, 14 years old, and, and I always thought it was very strange because the days were getting longer, and it was sunny out, and and the you know the bulbs were coming up, and flowers were blooming, and I was wanting to be really happy, thinking, "Yay, winter's over!" And uh, the opposite happened. I was actually getting more and more down as the early spring arrived. So um, once I got treatment for my thyroid condition, I found out, in fact, that this is very common. And uh, what that means is in the, you know, mid-March, April, May, around that time, um, that I can have this kind of low-grade depression. And I don't like to call it depression because I think that freaks people out a bit. It's more as though I just feel blah or I don't have a lot of energy or it's that thyroidy kind of feeling as though I could just sit on the couch all day even though I really want to go out and garden and be outside. I just feel like not blah, like not doing anything. And uh, so um, when I got treatment for my thyroid condition, I found out that this is really common and that um, one little trick that I've learned that works well for me is to boost my thyroid medication just a tiny bit, uh, about 15 milligrams. Uh, and it's starting as soon as I start to feel that bluesy kind of sluggish, um, blasé feeling. So right around this time, right when the forsythia are starting to bloom. Um, that's a good marker for me. And uh, and I take it, I increase the medicine for just a couple months, maybe, you know, two months until, um, until the spring is well underway. So um, again, my advice, it is not meant to replace that of your doctor or a doctor that you trust and feel good about. So um, I'm just sharing my experience and I hope that it helps you uh, and gives you some answers if you're experiencing thyroid and the winter blues. All right. Bye.